This is Sean uh, with Voices Live On. We are down in Nashville, Indiana, and we are at the Grandwood Suites with Andrew Tilton. How are you doing, Andrew? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. So this is a really unique hotel. It's uh, all full of suites. You've got 19 different rooms, and they're pretty elaborate as far as what you have as far as amenities and furniture and kitchen. So the backstory is uh, you guys purchased this in 2020. Is that correct? Yeah, right in the... Right as the pandemic was getting started, we purchased a hotel and nothing was happening. So it gave us plenty of time. It was great. It was a great opportunity actually to um, basically close down the whole hotel and remodel everything. And it was the Hidden Valley Inn that was originally built in 2000. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. So a guy named Bob Meister, he's an architect. He, uh, he designed and built this one. He built several different um, places in town, like the Hotel Nashville across the street and um, subdivision and several other things and if businesses wanted to have their employees down here and even have a small convention and stay here they'd have access to the history center conference room across the street and said there's a 300 person banquet hall and and also 60 person meeting room is that right yeah the way there's a yeah across the street there's a not-for-profit history center they put a they, it's a very very nice facility and it's you know just a block i mean not even a block but a one one street across, across from us. And that's open to access whenever they don't have things going on themselves. And as far as the hotel itself, um, you're just north of downtown on 135. It's and the address, uh, it's 201 North Van Buren. Is that right? Yeah, we're about a, we're about a block away from Big Woods Pizza, which is one of the, one of the bigger eateries in town. So we're, we call this the North End. And so we're at the north end of downtown Nashville. We're still considered downtown. We're, you know, walking distance to everything. How long of a walk is it to get to the center from here? Oh, five minutes if you walk slow. Five minutes? If you walk fast, like, you know, a couple minutes. <laughs> so what are some of the things that you really love about Nashville? Oh, Nashville is, Nashville is a special place, especially Brown County in general. Nashville is the a, is a county seat, um, and there's just lots of unique store owners and there's a couple hundred different stores and um, just a lot of cool things to do. So one of the things we're going to be hopefully accomplishing with the businesses here is getting a lot of the history um, from them and also some of the local legends, uh, life stories. Uh, wh who would you say are some people in town that are, are some of the key people that have a lot of ties with the history of the area? Well, unfortunately, I mean, a lot of those people are no longer with us anymore. Like Andy Rogers was one of the one of the bigger names in town. He owned probably half the town, and my grandfather and him were always butting heads on something. And so that's where that's where I picked up the real estate and investing and developing side of our business. Um, yeah, it was pretty interesting to see how that all played out. And when he passed away, new investors bought a lot of his properties from auction. And uh, so we're seeing a lot more, we're seeing a, a ton of, of um, rehabilitation of, of the, the buildings and places that he used to own. And there's a new music center that has a pretty substantial capacity, isn't that right? Yeah, the music center is a pretty cool story. That's, that's owned by the county. It's 2,000 seat venue. It's managed and ran by uh, Live Nation. And we have lots of really cool acts. Um, we had a, uh, oh shoot, we had the Wallflowers here last weekend. So that's pretty cool. Um, I heard Johnny Depp came in town. Johnny Depp came in town, yeah. That we was, were doing Rich Hardesty's um, rockumentary Life in Music and, and it was the same week and I was gonna ask him if he was gonna open for Johnny Depp, but he didn't, he didn't say, that <laughs> say was, anything. That was gonna be a thing now. <laughs> uh, so it, as, as far as your family, your, your mother is Pam and your uh, stepfather is Bruce, and, and I know your mother has a, a small business down uh, in. Yeah, in she has train. a. So we we were raised in the hotel, in the hotelier industry with my mom. She built built her, the first hotel, and she's started with just uh, I think twelve rooms, and I think she's got like sixty three room or units and places around Nashville. So she just does all downtown Nashville as well. Um, but yeah, she's been doing that for since nineteen ninety three. And you grew up here. Yeah, I was actually, I'm probably one of the most native natives you can get. I was actually born at home, which my mom's first hotel was, used to be our home. And so that's where I was born, a couple, like three blocks down the street from here. What was the name? What's that? What was the name of it? 
Oh, well, it, was, it used to be just our house. Okay. And then we tore the house down and built the hotel. So. And what was the name of the hotel? Uh, it's Cornerstone Inn. It's still there. The and, Cornerstone Inn. Yeah. So who would you say would be some of the uh, key unique businesses that are down here in the village that, you know, you're not just friends with the owners, but they have a really unique um Unique as far as to like what they sell or how they encapsulate, you know, Brown County. What were some of the more unique ones down here? Oh, well, I would, you know, I have to say that Big Woods has been, has been one of the ones I've been watching for a long time. You know, they're the most well known. And I think they are have a unique, a unique business because they've, they've grown so much and been, have done so well with what they're, with growing from Nashville. I mean, their, their first, their first restaurant, restaurant was, is probably no bigger than this this unit itself. And that's where they got started. Now they own like 15 to seven, I think maybe 17 restaurants all over the place and they have a huge distillery now. And so that's a pretty, pretty cool story. I think that's, you know, pretty unique for this area. For that What's the, uh, the white building on the corner? Is it the hobnob or the, no yeah, the hobnob. That's, is it called the hobnob? That yeah. used to be a, used to be a pharmacy way back in the day. Okay. And I think one of the original families still owns that the Millers. And, um, I think, I think the one of the the previous owners she passed away not too long ago actually so I think it's still in the family though but yeah so um, oh the Coles are have been running that restaurant ever since I can I can remember Warren Cole and his son Eric Cole I think Eric's still the chef there that was one of the uh, favorite spots of my parents when we would come down and cut down a tree for Christmas and we'd go there um, and also the the Colony Inn. Artist Colony. Arts yeah. Colony. Arts Colony. Went there for Thanksgiving one year. But yeah. there's a lot of unique um, history with, with all the different businesses. And and it's obviously beautiful down here, too, with, with the hills and everything. And and uh, what, what, what's one of your, I guess, favorite memories of maybe the town growing? And you've seen a, a, lot, a lot of change happen. But, you know, some things about growth that's happened over the few years that really stands out. Well, it's, it's happening right now. Um, this is like once in a generation type thing that's happening in Nashville. The most, all the, the old guard is, is, is changing. And so there's a lot of new younger people coming into Nashville to basically carry the torch to the next generation. It's pretty, it's pretty cool to see. And so there's a, uh, all the, all the Andy Rogers buildings got sold. Um, his daughter, his youngest daughter, Andy, she inherited the Nashville house and that's doing really great. The food's phenomenal. And she, bought the Ferguson house and that's a, they've got a beer garden out there now, which is really cool. Um, Cedar Creek brewery brewery is opening up and they're working on their, their restaurant right now. And that's pretty cool to see they're out of Martinsville. I was out of the hard truth uh, distillery. Yeah. That is massive. It's huge. It is amazing what they yeah. did out there. Yeah. They have 300 acres of. Nashville. They're putting in cabins, cabins and, and so people can stay and, yeah. and they've got a giant concert Kind of, kind of yeah, outdoor amphitheater type yeah, deal. Amphitheater. Yeah, it's really cool. It's pr it was pretty amazing. Well, is there anything else that you like to tell people when they consider staying here just about their stay? Uh, this, this is these units are probably the largest units in town, and they are true one bedroom, one bath condos. They're six hundred square feet. It's very comfortable. You have all the amenities. You have walking distance to all the restaurants. Easy in and out. You can park your car and not have to move your car if you don't want to the entire time you're here. Um, so that was why, you know, this, this building in general was something that we really felt we needed to, we needed to purchase and, and, uh, remodel. And so it's, we're still got a ways to go, but what the rooms that we do have done and the way that we haven't done they're they're definitely really nice. Well, the ones you've shown me are great. And Andrew, I appreciate your time and you have a beautiful hotel here, the Greenwood Suites, just on the North end of Nashville. All right. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. You got it.